All right, hello everybody, uh, my YouTube family. I'm back with you today, working on my chicken coop, and uh, there's one of them there. There's some more back there by my automatic feeders for them. Those feeders are actually for our ducks and some geese that took up residence. But chickens, since my chickens are free range, they get a they get to uh, enjoy that also. But anyway, what I want to show you all today, this is kind of a follow-up video. I did a, the other day a video of my automatic feeders, which those are right there. I got two game feeders, and uh, you can't see them too good because I got them behind the roost, but those are my game feeders. Uh, I got feeding those buckets with game feeders and a timer set to feed the chickens automatically and this way if I go out of town uh, if my fiance Belinda goes out of town with me uh, they're fed they're fed for a good probably week and a half two weeks don't have to worry about it so today I followed up and I mentioned this in my other video I want to follow up with my automatic water so we just finished this we just completed this project what I have is a piece of four inch PVC pipe capped off on both ends and I have a just a livestock water level monitor. And now I have constant water going to my chickens all the time. I could put a thousand chickens in this little pen, which I would never do, but I'm just saying, they cannot out drink this water supply. It's constant water supply. Um, and again, like I mentioned in my other video, for my feeders, for my watering system, if anybody's interested in them, uh, I'd be happy to build some for you and ship them to you. Uh, just send a message on to me through my YouTube channel, and uh, I'll be glad to accommodate. Anyway, I hope you all have a good day. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you a little bit more of this. Um, so, show you how I feed my water. So, it's just a hose pipe. It's just a your typical old... I got a bee flying in my face. Excuse me. You see my water pipe. Water... Uh, hose pipe and it's coming from my house over there it's coming from my house from my pump shed it comes over here and I came in here and drilled a hole in the side of my chicken coop right there and comes inside and what this also does is it also helps steady my water it help keep it from all I got is, I got it sitting on a couple of four by four timbers. I got a screw front and back so it can't slide back that way. And that hose pipe will help steady it and make sure it doesn't spin and turn. Um, and that, that helps hold everything in place. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, it was informative and gives you some ideas. And again, if you don't uh, if you don't want to do it yourself, you want me to make you some uh, automatic feeders. Again, I got some out in my yard for. I got some ducks. I got a, pair, a couple of pairs of ducks, or a pair of ducks. I got a couple of ducks, and we have some geese that fly the entire tri parish area here in Louisiana. And they've actually, uh, I got a hen and five goslings that have taken up residence here. So I feed the ducks and the uh, geese out there. And so it's, since my chickens are free range, we turn them out in the daytime. We turn them out in the daytime. You see the doors open. She's in here on her own, on her own accord. But of course, you see, she's looking for a way out right now, but she wants to get out there with them. But anyway, we turn them out every day. They're free range. I don't feed them medicated feed. I try to give them as much natural bugs, grass, all that stuff for their eggs as possible. And uh, tonight they'll come in and roost. They'll have plenty of feed right there from the automatic feeders, and they'll have non-stop water supply. Can't run out unless my pump quits. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day, and uh, if you like my channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And if y'all want um, any, uh, it could be chickens, geese, ducks, whatever it is, rabbits, whatever you got on the ground that you want to feed uh, in a pen, these um, these feeders and waters, I mean, they're, they're great. They, they save you a whole lot of time and trouble. Anyway, y'all have a great day.